Hello guys, this video is going to be an unboxing of the M2 Tech High Face USB to SPDIF converter. And the advantages of having an SPDIF digital signal is it can support a higher sample rate over USB and um except if the the um the receiving digital to analog converter has a certain driver in it which allows the USB connection to to send over higher sample rates. But most digital to analog converters that are external based do not have these specialized drivers so in return you may need to have a USB to SPDIF digital converter such as the the M2 Tech High Face so the reason I got this um the High Face basically because I heard a lot of good reviews on its sound quality so what the High Face is doing now it the main thing being that it converts USB, USB digital to SPDIF digital it also um, lowers the jitter to very low levels below audible listening levels and this helps improve sound quality because jitter is has something to do with the timing in which the data is um, sent over and all the data is received on time um, correct me if I'm wrong because I'm not that knowledgeable in jitter but jitter is a big issue when it comes to trans transporting digital signals from your laptop to an external digital analog converter so, and the main reason I'm using SPDIF now is because I'm getting the JH3A, which is a proprietary amplifier for your JH custom IEMs. And that takes in an SPDIF signal, and also it should take in a USB input, but I'm not entirely sure. But US, it's not going to have, um, it's not going to support high sample rates with the USB, so I am forced to use a SPDIF signal because I have some of my songs in. Um, around 24 bit at 96 kilohertz, so I need a SPDIF signal to listen to those songs. And basically, what the JH3A is doing, and the reason why I'm getting it is because it houses the crossovers inside the amplifier enclosure itself. And having an active crossover has an advantage over having a passive crossover because it eliminates phase and timing issues. So, in return, you should get much better sound quality. And it's going to be mainly a, a, a bigger sound stage and much more improved imaging. So I can't wait till that device comes out two or three months down the road. I will have an unboxing video on that, so stay tuned. So now let's get to the actual unboxing video of the M2 Tech High Face. So you greet it with the paper. I'm not sure if it's a manual. I'm going to read it. Dear customer, thank you for purchasing iFace. Should your computer be fitted with a slot CD-ROM drive or DVD-ROM drive, please do not insert the included 8cm CD in it. The disk, there's a typo, could be trapped in the drive. Please connect to our website, there's a website link, to download the necessary driver to install iFace. So I gotta do that later. Yeah, this is the the small CD they're talking about, it will get stuck in my laptop drive, so I'm not going to risk doing that, so that's going to be tossed away, I guess. Right, let's get to the actual M2 Tech high face. And this is it. It doesn't require any external USB cables, it just plugs directly into the USB port in your computer. And like it said, you have to install drivers and it feeds off of the power on your USB port, it doesn't need any external power. But I did have a modification on this thing, how it uses it. The, um, what the guy did was he, he, he kind of wired external power in into certain chips on this thing and it improved sound quality. Maybe I might do that and maybe I, mo I might not do that, but I'll look up for more info on that. That looks pretty interesting. So let's get back to this now and so, Give you a 360 view on the M2 Tech High Face. It's pretty bigger than I thought it would be, according to the pictures. We get a, a, a US quarter for size references and comparisons. So it's pretty big. It sticks out your laptop or your desktop at a pretty further than a, most flash drives would stick out. 
or maybe it's the exact same size as a flash drive but i think it's longer than a, a, a typical flash drive so i'm going to show you the uh, a typical spdif cable and it basically just it looks like it, it has one rca male connector and you simply just plug it in as if, as if it was an rca connector and then the other end has one rca male connector and that is an SPDIF digital cord or cable and that's how simple the connect the connection is so if you have any questions just please post it in the comment box or you can personally message me through YouTube so this has been basically an unboxing video of my new M2 Tech high face I can't use it yet until I get my JH3A, so it's, it's going to be sitting here for about 2-3 months until it actually can be used. So yeah, this is, so thanks for watching guys, and later.